What's up guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some fire, fire, fire new content. And yes, today we are going to go over the new content and whatnot. Um, before we get into the video, man, we're just going to go right over these cards. Um, these cards are pretty solid, man. Not going to lie. These cards are actually pretty, pretty good. Um, we got Chris Webber. We got Steve Nash. We got Sleepy Floyd. These cards are actually pretty fire. Not going to lie. And um, Sleepy Floyd, pretty solid card. Chris Webber, Steve Nash. I'm actually kind of a fan of these cards. So we're pretty much just going to get into these snipe filters and whatnot. Um, we're also going to go over some pricing. And uh, yeah, man. So one thing I noticed, Alonzo Mourning is dirt cheap. He is the best diamond buyable center in the game. Comparing him to my George Mikan. Yes, he's not going to be just as good. He's going to be just as good as him. And he's auctionable, man. So going over all this and that and this and that. Um, let's check out Steve Nash's price, Chris Weber's price, and whatnot. I wonder if they're going to be buyouts. So let's see. Let's see if we can actually snipe one out. And it looks like they're going to go for a bid. There'll be a buyout soon. Let's see. Okay, Chris Weber's up there for 100K. His stats are very good. 6'9". Power forward center. Block. Okay. Okay, this card's really good. 81 speed, too, at power forward. So this card... Is honestly probably the best power forward in the game, other than I would say like Giannis or something. And then we got Steve Nash. Let's check out his price. And then we're gonna try to make MT off these new and improved packs. And honestly, let's see if we can pull something. Maybe we can pull Sleepy Foy. These packs are expensive. If I were you, I would not waste your money on these packs. And there we go. We got a Ruby. At least we got something, man. But we got Carl Anthony Towns. So that's an L. Right now, man, these packs. These packs are not worth any of it. Like 10,500 MT, you have to think about that. I pulled two so far, I got one Ruby. These packs, they're not worth it whatsoever. Do not waste your money on it. Even though the content is very good. So I'm going to go over some snipe filters for the new packs and whatnot. So pretty much, man, my favorite filter right now is definitely going to be one of the diamond filters. You, I recommend going right here to the diamond filter and checking it out. Um, we're going to go over some other filters though. We got diamond and what is this one the dimer series so let's see they have it here yet all right one will rise dimers so if i were you i would try to snipe out this like all day as you guys can see chris webbers are getting posted he is honestly the best power forward in the game okay um i can't really think of any other power forwards but this guy is super athletic you're definitely gonna want him on your squad if you're gonna run Giannis at center and chris weber at power forward that's a home run these two cards right here are very very solid cards and honestly if i were you i would definitely sit on this filter just constantly refreshing if you do end up sniping one of them you're gonna make boatloads of mt next up we're gonna get into another snipe filter man let's see so let's get into the next snipe filter let's see um we're gonna go ruby and we're gonna go play off dimers okay or one wheel rise dimers okay this filter should be pretty money Ooh, that's gone Let's see. Let's check out the stats. So Doc Rivers is very usable. And so is this Robert Reed. So we're going to try to snipe him out. And honestly, investments are not a bad idea. The only thing is, man, this auction house bug is still going around. So we're going to have some troubles here and there. As you guys can see, man, that Doc Rivers is already gone. So one thing I'm going to see with this snipe filter, the auction house glitch is going to be a pain in the booty. So that's going to be the one tough thing I could say if I were you. I don't know if you could refresh just by pressing start, but if I were you, I would honestly raise it just a little bit, see what's going on. You could probably pick up a couple of these cards for 1500, sell them for 3000 MT, maybe in a couple days. I would definitely recommend this night filter. This night filter is very solid for newer players. So definitely try it out, man. This is tough right here, man. I just tried. If you guys got the Xbox one or the new Xbox series X, whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. I did not secure one. It was insanely hard to secure one. I know one person got it. It was Brian43, man. Shout out to you. But yo, that was tough, man. If you guys got the Xbox or the PS5, let me know down in the comments below because that was tough. So we're going to go over some other snipe filters. This snipe filter isn't from the packs. This is just a snipe filter I love. And it is Amethyst 20, man. This is the money filter right here. Made me millions. 600,000 MT. 
in three hours so definitely try out that snipe filter um let's go over this new one so we got amethyst we got sleepy floyd let's see how much he's going for let's see if he's worth the buy let's see if he's worth the snipe because he honestly looked pretty good not gonna lie so let's see let's see his stats let's see if he's worth sniping he has very good stats very very good stats he's six three he's taller than eight archibald he has a pretty good perimeter defense decent steal 89 speed he's definitely slower but let's compare to bad he has more goal bad as a nate archibald so that's that's kind of crazy man i worked hard to get that nate archibald and the fact that they already released an amethyst that's better than nate archibald is kind of crazy so grinding domination is already not worth it which is insane but uh here we go man sleepy floyd 34,000 mt he's definitely gonna be worth the snipe if you do get him he's actually one of the best point guards in the game right now and uh, while we're here, let's check out if we can get a Manu Ginobili snipe. Ooh. Oh, wow. Whoever got that is a legend. So as you guys can see, man, the auction house glitch is still a thing right now. Sniping is very tough. Let's just go over regular Ruby filter. Let's see. So, yep, that Doc Rivers is already gone. So going over the regular Ruby filter, honestly, you should just go Ruby in general. You don't even need to make a filter or anything. And that one's gone as well. That one's not gone. That one's gone too. So the auction house glitch is really getting to my nerves. So it looks like you could just go Ruby and just try to snipe out some of these cards. That's definitely the best method right now. Ruby filters, definitely money. Definitely money. So definitely try out this Ruby filter. It's going to be probably the easiest thing to do. Um, this is going to be the best way to make MT. It's probably popping way more on PS4. But uh, like I said, Ruby's uh, really good because if you don't have a lot of MT... This is going to be the filter just for you. And now let's go one more time. Let's go over one more thing. And it's it's going over Kobe and going over MJ. All right, let's go over it. So Kobe's up to 97K. I actually ended up selling mine last night for 97K as well. And we also got Mr. Michael Jordan, MVP, GOAT, whatever you want to call him, going for around, I'd say, 80,000 MC. If you guys have MJ, make sure to get rid of him ASAP, whenever you can. But right for not for right now, since these cards are in packs, I would definitely focus on the diamond filter, man. If you get Chris Webber or Steve Nash for 100k, they're most likely gonna sell for a pretty decent amount. There is a lot on the auction. Maybe they do go down, but honestly, try sniping them out for like 70k. If you get them for 70k, just throw them up for a 100k buyout and he'll sell instantly. That's probably gonna be your best way to snipe and make MT. But other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. We're going to have some content later, maybe possibly a stream. But yeah, man, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.